Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you're using Microsoft Edge, more specifically Edge's PIP picture-in-picture -picture window, you may have noticed a bug that has recently appeared. So if we quickly head into a video just to demonstrate, you'll notice if I enter picture-in-picture, -picture, there's a white overlay that appears when hovering over the PIP window. Now the controls still work, but not right, that's a bug that shouldn't be there. And it seems that it could be caused by leftover code from a UR redesign that Microsoft tested. So if you are experiencing this issue because there is no official fix yet, then you can use a command line flag to get rid of this white overlay if this, if this is something you so wish to do. So how you would do this, is you would enter this command line flag and by the way I'll leave this in the description to copy and paste because that's quite a mouthful then what you would do is you would head to any shortcut of Microsoft Edge you would right click on that shortcut you would click on properties and then to the right you would enter the command line flag so whatever's the last entry in the target and you need to leave a space because if you don't this will not work and then you would paste that in or type that in make sure there's a space between the original target and what you've just entered click on apply click on ok close the browser restart edge now if we head back and let's enter picture in picture You will see now when I hover over that everything is A and OK. It has temporarily fixed that white overlay if you are experiencing this issue, which seems to be quite widespread. So there we go, all nice and exactly how it should be. Now this is obviously a temporary workaround until Microsoft rolls out an official fix. And if I get knowledge of that, I'll let you know. And if you want to reverse the process, you just follow the steps in this video and just delete whatever you entered to the last entry into that target field as mentioned and restart your browser and everything then should be back to normal. But just thought I'd share that with you because there are a couple of reports doing the rounds online that that has become a headache for some users of Microsoft Edge. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.